When was the last time I did a video? I don't even know. But, uh, here I am in the dark. Just remembered that I should probably be doing these videos more. So, what is new? See, I don't even remember what I said on the last one, but... Oh, I probably should have thought about this before I turned on the camera. Something new. Well, did I ever tell you that I don't believe in evolution anymore? I think that just happened around this time. And, uh, yeah, I met a guy named Rex Crane, so... Trying to get him on the show for Spill Your Beans. Um, he was doing um, a motivational kind of speech. And it was free tickets. And I went with Gervier, my personal trainer. And uh, yeah, it was uh, quite... Well, I already knew a lot of the stuff he said. But um, it was still good to connect. Because he seemed like a really high energy kind of person. Rex Crane, motivational speaker, um, life coach. But, you know, one of the things he said was um, the, the one identity or the one characteristic that all successful people had was hunger. Just like uh, he gave the example of a, a tiger or a lion that was hungry. He becomes the king of the jungle or king of the uh, Africa. For the time he was awake. Little unknown fact. Or little fact is that. Lions actually sleep. Probably 15-16 hours. But for the time that they are awake. When they're hungry. They dominate their area. So. Be hungry. Hang out with hungry people. And audit who you hang out with. Because. If you're hanging out with four broke friends. You're going to be the fifth one. And there's a lot of cliche sayings like birds of the same feather flock together. But really, take a look at, take a close look at the five closest people you hang out with, you spend the most time with. And you're most likely somewhere in the middle. You're the average of all those five people. So I'm really trying to stretch my limits and get up there. And that's why... <laughs> I spend a lot of times with books, a lot of times with videos, because when I spend my time with those, those are high level thinkers. So if I'm spending my time doing those, then I'm going to be lifted up there virtually because basically like I'm hanging out with them, right? I'm absorbing all their thoughts and all their wisdom and everything. And so if you do have bad friends, uh, books could be a good temporary substitute. Nothing. Nothing can beat an actual live mentor that can help you step through life, but books would be better than nothing. A lot better than nothing, actually. But, uh, yeah. So there's also another thing I might join. Um, it's kind of like an accelerator, incubator kind of group. I'm just starting out, and I, I think I'm probably going to... I will. I told the guy I'd join. So let's see how that goes. And right now... What I'm doing is I'm, I made flyers, handing those out, and now I'm following up with them. Got my new laptop, Dell XPS 13, 2016, 13 inches, and it's 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 amazing. It's a really good laptop, and so I'm starting my LinkedIn campaign again, talking to people and just working. Um, still work at the gutter company, uh, gutter, the gutter doctor. Monday to Wednesday, and they're usually like 10-ish hour, 10 hour days. Tomorrow I got a network. Oh, this Thursday's all packed. But anyways, so hopefully I can get that down to two days. Once I get a client, that's maybe five hundred, a thousand dollars, and slowly work my way up from there. So that's what I'm at. Um, spill your beans is going. It's probably gonna keep. Well, it's definitely gonna keep going with or without me. But I am still putting in my due, helping out as much as I can. And let's leave it at that. So, journey to success 31, I believe.